yeah okay hi welcome or welcome back to my channel please excuse my voice i went to a harry concert last night and i'm still recovering slowly but surely i feel like i literally feel like i didn't even go to the concert i just i'm having like little memories of it but like i think i black out at every concert because i get so excited that i feel like i wasn't there my voice can really prove that i was there that's just if my voice sounds a little weird right now i think it's time to read a Court of Thorns and Roses. This video is just gonna be a reading vlog of the first one. It's gonna be spoiler free, and then at the end, if you've already read it, I'll put all the spoilers at the end if I say anything that's spoiling anything of the book. The thing is, I don't know what's gonna spoil anything about the book because I have not, I don't really know what it's about. I heard that the first one, more specifically, is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. I know it's some type of romance fantasy. I know the essence of it. I know one person's name in this book. Don't know who they are, what they're about. That's all I know. I'm going into this line. I guess not completely blind because I know like no I feel like I'm like almost going into this blind but this has been the most popular book I feel like I've ever seen the most popular series I've ever seen and I do read fantasy not like a lot of fantasy but I've read a good amount I feel like at this point I've gotten into a good amount of series I feel like I'm well-rounded I'm at the point in my reading life where I feel safe to read this I'm going in with no expectations I know that it's so hyped and everything like that and everyone loves it but for me no expectations if I don't like it it's fine I have a feeling I'm going to because everyone that I know that has read this and loved it have the same taste as so I hope it proves itself I'm nervous I'm gonna read the back so those two names that I read on the back fair and Tamlin I don't know if that's how you say it right that's not the names that I even knew about there's one name is it Ryson I don't know I might sound stupid but we'll figure that out as it goes the series scares me and intimidates me because of how big the books are are they unnecessarily that big like why I don't know they intimidate me but this is just me the first one let me know if you guys want me to vlog the rest of it like it is time to start it so that's what we're doing this week I don't know how long it's gonna take me that's why I say this week but if I like it maybe it'll take me a couple days i'm gonna go get some coffee because i literally am so unwell from last night start this there and we'll see what happens i'm excited I feel like I should give first impressions before I continue because I feel like something's about to go down or like the major point of how do I say this the back of the book how she was taken from whatever I think that's about to happen so I stopped reading but I'm only on page 32 about to start chapter four her name they kind of like spelled out how to say it and I don't know if I is it fair or fair I'm gonna say fair because I feel like that's how I when I read it pronounce it but I think it was Feyre? I'm not sure. I don't like her sisters, don't like her father. Her sisters just don't help her. I feel like she is now the breadwinner for whatever reason. And the father, I guess he can't really help them because he got hurt, but like also, I don't know. I feel like I like Fair. She's a strong character. I feel like she can be a strong female main character, which I always love. At the end of this chapter, was about to go talk to Nesta, her older sister, because she wanted to get married off and Fair doesn't think that's a good decision. But then she said that there was a roar, her sister's scream, snow burst into the room and then an enormous growling shape appeared in the doorway so on the back it says since she killed the wolf in the woods she's dragged to a treacherous magical land she knows only about from legends i think that's what's about to happen right now the growling shape in the doorway is going to come take her away because she killed the wolf i'm not hating it i'm actually quite enjoying it i like the writing i feel like it's easy to understand being like a whole fantasy new world which is always iffy for me because getting into a fantasy book for me it's just hard like i literally feel Feel dumb sometimes getting into fantasy because I can't grasp the world quick enough but I feel like that's normal you kind of have to like, go with the pages and the story and then it all falls into place and makes sense but this it's like making sense already which is really nice and usually the map that fantasy authors put in the beginning confuses me but this one didn't confuse me it just makes sense there's the fairy realms and then the wall that was built and then the mortal lands so fair and her family live in the mortal lands her mother died I think she used to be more wealthy when her mother was alive because her father could work before he got hurt and then her mother died and she's living in the mortal lands kind of in a 
poorer part and then above the wall is the fairy whatever there was a war i think and they used the mortal i don't know exactly i just want to give my first impressions before i continue reading i'm not going to update like this every 30 pages i'm going to update when i get further in and we can just have a little update about how much i've read how i'm feeling and stuff also am i the only one do you guys also use random things as bookmarks like this is a receipt from i think like three weeks ago now anyway i'm gonna keep reading nothing negative to say yet and i'm excited to see what this fairyland is all about i will be back Update. Let me take this headband out because I feel silly with it on. It's just my hair is always in my face and I just I hate it. I'm on page 75. Didn't get too far from last time. A lot has happened since then. I guess since it's the beginning of the book, they're setting up for the rest of it. She's now in the fairy world or whatever it's called. And the Tamlin guy, he's being very nice to her, which is very suspicious to me. But then I'm like, the one thing I know about this series is a different guy. And I thought that was a love interest. So now I'm like, who is Tamlin? Are they going to be love interests together, him and Fairy? or is it something totally different. I don't like how nice he's being to her and just letting her just live there in his land while she's like immortal and apparently they're supposed to hate each other. So not really connecting the dots there. That's all I got. I just need to tell you guys how suspicious I think this whole thing is and how confused about where this other character that I have heard so much about comes into play. If it's even in this book, like I don't, I don't know. I heard the second one in the series is the best apparently for everyone. So I'm excited to get to that one. I just realized that the cover is of the wolf that she killed, right? Because it has the arrow. My straw has been in the frame the whole time. I'm so sorry. The arrow that's in him. I never really looked at the cover, to be honest. I'm gonna keep reading. Now I'm gonna update a little while in. We've got the base of everything. We got the base story that says on the back, she gets taken for killing the wolf. We have foundation here. So now that I have that, I think I can continue reading. And now when I get a lot further in, I will update you guys on my next impressions and opinions of this book. Now I will be back a little while later. Hi guys, hair's wet, just showered. Let me pause the music. I've been playing Court of Thorns and Roses like Spotify playlist while I'm reading and it's really setting the mood. But okay, I'm on page 170. I don't know how many pages are in this. About 4.15ish. I just, can I say that I love Tamlin? Is that how you say his name? I love him. And I know, or I think, he's not the love interest that she ends up with. Am I, like, wrong about that? I don't know. He's just treating her so good. And I'm like, does he, like, cross her at some point? What happens with them? But he just did something for her. And just the way he speaks to her and, like, watches her and, like, reacts to her. I'm just, like, like, giddy almost. And I'm actually really enjoying it. I feel like it's really easy to read. It's really easy to get through and understand. And it's not boring me. And I'm also, like I just said, understanding the world and all of the things that's happened in their past and why the mortals and the family fairies and whatever like hate each other we just learn more about tamlin's like friend is his name lucian is that how you say it that's how i'm saying it just learn about his past and why he's with tamlin and why he is the way he is because he has like this it's one of his eyes fake or something and he's a scar so she's been very curious about him i don't know i don't know where it's gonna go but i really am enjoying it that's a good thing because i wasn't sure i mean usually the first in like a series especially like a fantasy series isn't always the best one because you're setting up the world characters and stuff but this it didn't start off boring like it got right into the story so i'm very happy and I'm loving it. I'll update you guys in a few when I learn more things. Nothing like crazy that's happened. It's just she's now in the, it's like right above the wall from where she used to live. I have a weird feeling something's gonna happen. Something bad, but we'll find out. Okay, I'm gonna keep reading and I'll come back in a little.
sorry. And we're not gonna sit here and pretend that Tamlin isn't perfect. Did anyone else feel this while they were reading it? I, I just, what changes? I can't, I'm like on the edge of my seat reading because I just, uh, he is, uh, no spoilers. Just the things he says. I'm a Tamlin stan right now. I also, I like his friend, Lucian. Don't know how to say his name either. I gotta look up these names, pronunciations. I probably should have done that before I made this video, but I just like the things that he says and he does and I don't know. I'm just really loving him. I didn't get too much farther. I'm like on to something. So I think I'm officially halfway. I literally don't know where this is gonna go. So that's good. I just have this, I think, sweet spot right now for Tamlin. I wish I could say more. I guess I'll make a whole little section for the spoilers at the end of what just happened. Cause I, I don't have any tabs, so I've been like, it's gonna hurt a lot of people, but I've been like doggy earing a bunch of pages so I can go back and underline it. Cause I didn't have tabs or like pens, anything to annotate with me. So I'm gonna go talk about it. So if you already read the books and you wanna see what I'm about to talk about, it'll be at the end of the video, but I seem to update you guys that I'm really enjoying it. I'm really liking it. It's not like slow or boring for me. It's just like, I don't know, it's really good. My expectations were so high because everyone loves it. I tried to go in very blind, which I feel like I still am blind. I have no idea what's gonna happen, but my expectations are being met, which is always a good thing. All right, that was a little update. I know it was short and sweet. I don't really have much to say. Nothing has really changed yet. So I'm hoping now that we're halfway, things are gonna happen. I don't know what, but I guess we will see. Okay, so what I was trying to say in my last clip, I think, I don't have many updates, but that I love the way fantasy romances or just fantasy is written because when it's done right and when it hits, like it hits hard and like that's me with like six of crows romance that's in there like it's just the way it's written it's not so in your face romance it's not like the star of the book the star of the show you know like it's like just the words that they say and the actions that they do it's not like huge and it like always just like slowly builds to it i don't know i love it and i'm loving it so much so i understand that this probably isn't gonna last and something's gonna happen but i was saying this in like the spoiler part at the end of the video or like this little section spoiler part whatever so this is kind repetitive if you watch both parts of the video but in the moment of me reading i'm just gonna continue eating this up loving what's going on and just ignorance is bliss right now i'm not gonna think about if there's another love interest that comes in she also oh, that's a spoiler okay i'm gonna keep reading i don't know if i'm making any sense right now all you guys need to know is that i'm enjoying it and i know something's gonna happen something has to happen it can't be all this lovey-dovey i'm gonna keep reading Okay, hello. I'm at Barnes right now. I'm gonna get the second book because I'm literally loving it. I'm a little over halfway. A few things have happened. One, kind of sad. Feyre, that's how you say it. It's not fair, it's Feyre. Something happened with her. A little sad about that because I was loving what was happening and unfortunately that is no longer as of right now. So I'm a little upset on that. And then, I don't know if I said this in the spoiler section or like the regular section, but the whole time I was thinking like, who's Ryson? I think that's how you say his name. I guess I'll figure that one out eventually. But I was like, who's Ryson? Why is everyone obsessed with him? Why is he not in the first book? Like, is he just like a second book character? And then a scene happened where some guy saved her from something and she didn't get his name but she was like this is the most beautiful person i've ever seen or most beautiful man i've ever seen something like that a few chapters later a different scene he came back and it was ryson so i was like i knew that was him i don't think we're supposed to like him right now i think he's technically a bad person i figured out like what part of what court he's from and everything but i will say with fantasy i go into it with like a grain of salt you know i know when i'm reading a fantasy i'm not gonna understand everything about the world yes i know there's a blight going on i don't know exactly what that means do i know that they wear masks in the court that's Tamlin is in? Yeah. Do I know why? A little bit. Could I explain it to someone? No. I understand kind of why they're wearing it. Like, I know the main reason, but like the whole story and stuff, like, I think it's gonna take me a little more explanation and a few more books maybe to understand. I don't get like hung up on the parts of the fantasy that I don't really completely understand because I feel like as I continue reading it, it makes more sense. So I know, like I said, like fantasy makes me feel dumb, but I just like, I don't care. Like, I know it's going to and I know I'm not gonna understand completely everything. So it doesn't really hurt my feelings at all. I just, I know it's gonna happen. And also, like, some of the characters in fantasy books, like, I just can't picture 
picture it. Like I can't picture these creatures. It takes like my brain a little bit more extra work for this imagination to picture them. But so far so good. I really am enjoying it a lot more than I expected. It's in my bag right now because I'm gonna go into Barnes. Buy the second one and maybe read a little and hopefully finish it today, if not tomorrow. I don't know if the first one's like a fan fave. Everyone says the second one is like the best of their favorite, the most talked about, I feel like. I don't know what happens in it. I'm assuming something with ricin. Enjoying it, gonna keep reading, figure out what happens now because like something has gone on where I'm like, now what? I got to page 290. I have a little over 100 pages left. And then I bought the second one. Guys, that's a hunker. She's thick. I love the covers of these. I can't wait to have like a, this whole stack. But look at it. Anyway, I got to a part. How do I say this without being spoiler? I was just saying how the whole fantasy part, the blight and the curse and all of that wasn't really clicking for me. But it finally clicked. It was kind of explained further about Tamlin's curse and like all this kind of stuff, which I now understand more because it was all explained further to Fae so now like I kind of understand better and I'm just like everything is clicking favorite had like this one thing she had to do and she just didn't do it and I'm over here like no words. I have like a few predictions about how this book is gonna end. I have a feeling it's gonna be like a closure at the end, but not enough where like I'm gonna wanna start the second one. And I was gonna start different books and like not go right into the second one, but now I feel like I should. I don't know, I'll figure that out. But yeah, I have a few predictions of how I think it's gonna end. We'll see if I'm right. I can't tell you if I'm right, but we'll see. I think I'm gonna finish it now. I don't know, I feel like I've been going through it like really quickly. And I was looking at good reads. I wasn't reading any reviews, I was just looking at everyone's ratings. And I feel like I don't know if it's because my expectations for the book was really high, but my personal expectations of like if I was gonna enjoy it because not a lot of fantasies like I don't know some of them I don't love so I was like I'll probably go into this like not loving it I'll love like the romance half of it but like not the fantasy part but I'm actually enjoying that fantasy part of it and the, the curse and the that whole part of it like the mortal and the court world and the wars and I didn't expect to like that part of it as much as I am so that was very surprising and it's making me very happy that I'm enjoying it so I feel like the first one is not everyone's favorite and I feel like the first one for a lot of fantasies like I've said earlier in the video is not everyone's favorite in a fantasy series Series, but I'm really loving it. So I don't know if that's surprising, at least for me it is a little bit, but I think I'm gonna go finish it. We'll talk about the ending, how I feel about how it ended, and I cannot wait to see what happens. I'm very excited. finished the book. I finished it literally a few minutes ago. Let's talk about it. So where should I start? I don't remember the last thing I said. If something happened, I think with Feyre and I was like, I don't know where it's gonna go now, but then so much has happened since then and I had a feeling how it was gonna end. Like obviously there's a different, there's a whole series. So nothing bad could have really happened to her, but it was, it was entertaining. I'll say that. I think this whole book has kept me entertained. Honestly, don't think there was any parts where I was like bored really. Like I was interested to see where it kept going and it kind of kept my interest. I feel like it's really hard for a fantasy or some fantasies to do that for me because it's like, I feel like I'd get boring really quick and just like too much world talk and world building but this was good and this didn't bore me i was very interested and the last like 100 pages was crazy and i knew how it was gonna end kind of but now there's like a whole other part that i didn't expect and i don't know for some reason this book is reminding me a lot of like vampires and vampire diaries in a way because i think they're sensitive to life i don't know if i'm making this up but some of the stuff that they do reminds me of a vampire I have no further explanation on that one. I just, it does. But I thoroughly enjoyed this book and I'm so excited to start the second one today. I was gonna take a break between books. I mean, I'm not gonna start it right away because I have other stuff to do, but I think I should just 
I should just read it. I don't think I should do other books in between. I should just binge the series. I feel like that's the best way to get. I feel like I can get the most out of the series if I just binge it. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I guess I'll film the rest of the series, but those are gonna be spoilers. So if you have read it and you wanna see the rest of it, I will put out another video with the rest of the series. So I don't know how long that's gonna take because I say I'm gonna binge the series, but I don't know exactly after the second one. I know I'm gonna start the second one now, but I don't know about the rest. So I don't know when it's gonna come. It will come. I will say my expectations were high because of the hype that this has, but I had no expectations for the storyline. Line. I had no idea where the story was gonna go and I still don't know where the second one is gonna go because I'm like this major point of what I hear It's like what happens now? I will say that I went from a huge Tamlin stand to like not really as much which I, I'm gonna talk about in the spoiler section So if you read it just wait for that. But yeah, I need to read it. I think I'm gonna read it I'm gonna read it for I don't want to give it five stars because there's just like I don't, some parts I wasn't really understanding it's hard the first in the fantasy but for it being the first in the fantasy series I would give it four slash four and a half like I thoroughly Really enjoyed this and I'm so happy that I did because I was prepared to be kind of disappointed just because of everything surrounding this book but I am very happy about it so thank you guys all of you guys that have told me to read this book I've gotten so many people have said it but I'm happy that I finally did I didn't know when it was gonna be but I was like ready to read it so yeah now on to the rest of the series I honestly really recommend this even if you don't read fantasy there's enough romance in here for romance readers it's not hard to understand like a few other fantasy books that I've read like those are like take brain power this one like yeah there's some stuff that like doesn't click right away but it's still easy to read and understand and it's entertaining and I, I highly recommend if you're not into fantasy I think this would be I think this would be good if you want to try it and if you do like fantasy and you haven't read it you need to read it and thank you to everyone who's recommended it to me I loved it if you're not staying for the spoiler section that comes right after this thank you for watching let me know your thoughts on the book and thoughts on literally anything regarding Court of Thorns and Roses please no spoilers in the comments anything at all no spoilers please this is spoiler free zone but yeah okay on to the rest thank you guys for watching and I'll see you hopefully in the next one on to the spoiler section now but goodbye if you're not watching that have a great day hi guys here's my spoilers update my first one of the video <laughs> Tamlin. Okay, he just gave her paints, letting her paint. He said that he like loves how as a mortal, as a human, like she, oh, I took a picture of it. He said, cause your human joy fascinates me the way you experience things in your lifespan so wildly and deeply and all at once is entrancing. I'm drawn to it even when I know I shouldn't be, even when I try not to be. She ran outside because she was all worked up about leaving her family and stuff and how they just like literally don't care and don't know that she's like gone to where she is. And she picked up a rose and the thorn for like hurting her hand. She threw it away and then he got it again. I don't know, he's like freaking magic, so he had it. Thorns were gone, took her hands, kissed her palms, and healed the little, the blood and the cuts, and then said that, and then kissed her cheek. So I'm just like, do we stand Tamlin? Does he do something wrong? Because what he's doing right now is everything. There's nothing really else. I think that's a spoiler that I want to talk about. That's just like what's happening right now. Also, we just found out that Lucian, his father is the high lord. Is that how you say it? The high fae? I forgot how, what it is. Of the autumn court. And he killed Lucian's like lover. His brothers like held him and made him watch. So he like fleed and that's why he's with Tamlin. So I'm like, are they besties? I kind of love that. Okay, that's my first spoiler. I needed to get that out and just like talk about it because I'm just a sucker for fantasy romances. I, I don't know what it is about it. I just, the way that it's written and stuff, I, I eat it up. And the way that he just said that to her and then, I don't know, or the way that they just like speak. I don't know. Fantasy romance is just like when they hit, they hit. Be back with another spoiler. Okay, spoilers. Mega spoilers here. I don't know if I should annotate this. I don't know. I have like a love-hate relationship with annotating books now because it's like when people want to borrow my books i'm like embarrassed when they see my annotations i guess it's fine so it was the night of what did they call it it was like the ritual that happens every year because to keep their seasons going or something something with the magic but lucian and tamlin were telling fair this is how i'm gonna pronounce the names i'm sorry if it's so wrong told her to stay in the house like you do not want to leave for whatever reason and then she eventually found out that tamlin's not gonna be himself he's gonna be like a different side of tamlin and the ritual is that he has to pick a mate for the night out of instinct and Lucian told her like stay in the house because I think I doggy eared that part yeah I did you're lucky I found you when I did though because he would have smelled you and claimed you but it wouldn't have been Tamlin who brought you into that cave I don't think you would have liked it tonight is not for lovemaking whatever and he was basically saying that if Fair was there he would have obviously chose hers I was like 
And then, dog get eared this page so I can come back and underline. <laughs> Fair went down to get food because she was in the house and then she bumped into Tamlin in the hall after I guess he got bad. And he like kind of like low key attacked her up against the wall. She said, let go. He said, you drove me mad. I searched for you and you weren't there. When I didn't find you, it made me pick another. And then he kind of said some stuff to her and he was like, don't ever disobey me again. And she was like, don't tell me what to do. I'm just gonna like star the page. I don't wanna underline anything just because if anyone wants to read my books, I just, I don't wanna be that girl. I'm just gonna underline the scenes I like. So I liked that one. This is like the day after all of that happened and he like left a mark on her neck cause he like bit her or whatever. And she finally was going to show him her paintings and stuff and whatever. And then he like came closer on the table because she was like, you're so far away. And he did magic with it. And then she was like, you could have just taken a closer seat. And he was like, and miss a chance to show off to a beautiful woman. Never. You do look beautiful. What a sweet compliment. Anyway, I'm eating this up. I'm eating up the romance or whatever's going on here is doing it for me and I'm loving it. I don't care if this doesn't end up together or like whatever happens. Right now in this moment of me reading, I'm like loving it a lot. Little baby star. I'm like not going crazy. Okay, I'm on page 204. I just needed everyone to know that I'm eating this up and that I just don't want anything bad to happen even though I know it's going to. This can't be this sweet all the time. Not sweet, but I don't know. Oh my God, I was literally like smiling giddy. Anyway, I'm gonna keep reading. Back to the video, not the video. Me back to the book. Can I speak English? I don't know. Goodbye. Wait, one more spoiler, and I need to say it now before I continue reading. She met someone. She went out of the house to go to the little ritual thing, and she almost got, like, killed. But then someone saved her, and she said it's the most beautiful man she's ever seen. And he had dark hair, and I'm pretty sure that's what... What's that guy's name? Rison? I'm pretty sure that's what he looks like, or what I imagined him to look like. So was that him? He didn't give a name. He saved her, said enjoy the right, whatever, and then left. And then that's when Lucian, like, took her back to the to the house. I'm like really upset if anything bad happened because I'm loving it right now. That's all I had to say. That's not like a prediction of mine. Like, is that him? I don't know. Nobody knows. Kidding. You guys know. I don't. Not yet. Okay, spoiler. I got to the part where Ryson's back in the picture. He came and said something a little sketchy. They glamored Feyre and he like couldn't see her at first and then he got all mad and he was sent by someone of a different court, some girl, some woman. I don't know exactly. He was getting all mad and he said something like, I don't know, something sketchy with Tamlin. So then literally that night, Tamlin was like, you gotta go. You gotta leave. I can't protect you anymore. A blight thing. I don't know what that really means, but something bad. And then she went back and she saw where Tamlin's kept his sisters and father in this really nice place as if they were like freaking royalty and I'm just like what a man that's really all that's happened so far that I feel like it's like a spoiler that I wanted to talk about I love Tamlin and Pharaoh and I feel like is this the end of them are they ever gonna get back together they love each other so I'm just over here a little upset but I'm at Barnes right now I'm gonna go buy the second one read more I'll come back with more thoughts I hope Tamlin doesn't turn out to be a bad guy because that'll really hurt my feelings I have a weird feeling that's gonna happen anyway okay be back with another thought don't know when, but I will see you next time. Major spoiler. I was reading in Barnes, and then I came in my car to read. I just can't stop reading, so I haven't been able to drive home yet. I'm on page 290, chapter 33. I just figured out the whole curse on Tamlin, the blight. What's that girl's name? Amarantha. And, like, the whole thing with how he had, what, seven times seven? He had, like, 49 years. Have a human kill a fae, fairy, whatever, as a wolf out of hatred, and then fall in love, whatever, because of her sister fell in love with the human who betrayed her that whole thing and Feyre did that and all she had to do when the whatever took her away was tell him that she loved him which she did but she didn't say it if she did that the curse would have been he would have been fine with had his powers back but she didn't do it and now three days later he was taken so now she's back and i think she's making alice like her was that like her servant something like that alice i like alice alice is now taking her to the under the mountain is that what it's called sending all my well wishes to pharaoh good freaking luck but now i'm like do i not like tamlin because he kind of i think at first tamlin was trying to like trick her into falling in love with him to break the curse but then he actually fell in love with her and she loved him so you know what i feel like this book is gonna end with her there something happening with finding Tamlin. I feel like Ryson may be something with him because also she told Ryson that her name was Claire Better or something, some other girl from the mortal world. And she finds out that Claire's house has been burnt down and Claire's been kidnapped by Ryson. So that should have been her. So maybe she'll go find Claire. I don't know. Lots of predictions happening right now, but now I kind of understand better. I was saying before how I don't really get the fantasy stuff going on, but like the blight and all of that, but now it all kind of clicked a little, I think, better than it did. I think I'm going to go finish this and then come back and see how I feel. I don't know. Favor is crazy going into this under the mountain thing. I will see you next time. I have some spoilers. I think just when I finish it, I'll just like talk about the ending together. Is it zoomed in?
Oh my god, I was zoomed in the whole time. Anyway, I'll be back. This is a spoiler update before I finish the book because I don't really have anything to say for the non-spoiler section without giving anything away. I just need to talk about this. I'm on page 337. I don't even remember the last thing I said. And Marantha gave her this thing. was like, how do I explain it? I can't explain fantasy books. Feyre agreed to a deal with Amarantha. You guys have read it if you're watching the spoiler. So it was either solve the riddle or complete these three tasks every full moon and we'll free Tamlin from the curse, whatever it was. And I'm like, obviously this is not going to go well. But then then the first part came and she beat the worm thing and I think Ryson was the one that bet on her winning and then Lucian also helped her while it was going on but then I'm like why is Tamlin not speaking? It's so weird to me he's just like sitting there like that's it and I'm so confused he's just staring like is there something going on? Is he not able to speak? But then apparently not because Lucian was getting in trouble for helping Feyre during the little battle thing and apparently Ryson told Feyre that Tamlin was begging Miranda not to hurt Lucian. So I'm like, so he can speak. But then Ryson also struck a deal with Vera. She's gotta stop doing these deals with these people because this is not gonna go well either. He said two weeks, but they ended on a week. Spend a week with him, he would heal her because she got really hurt from that whole thing. And he ended up giving her like a tattoo from like forearm to her hand or something on her hand. So that's interesting. I was so team Tamlin and now I'm just like, you're not even gonna try to help her. Something's fishy. I feel like, I guess in the second book, because I don't have a lot left, I feel like that's when you see Ryson more, I'm pretty sure. That's when everyone starts loving him. And I guess when she spends like the week or whatever with him, do they like fall? in love. I mean, it's still good. I'm just, there's so many things going on now. It's like so much is happening that I don't even know what to think. But all right, that was my last spoiler thought that I needed to get out until I finished. I'll come back in the morning and we'll talk about the ending. Thank you for listening. Goodbye. Okay, spoilers. Let's talk spoilers. So the last thing I read yesterday or said yesterday, I think I was talking about how Tamlin wasn't really like speaking, but there wasn't like a spell casted on him. So I was like, okay, why is he not speaking? And at the end, like they're back together. He like kind of saved her. She's now a High Fae, or is she just like a fairy? She's immortal now, and I didn't expect that part, but I'm like, I don't know if I really love them together anymore because he did not do anything to fight for her. And I don't know if he was like doing it for a reason, but like, I don't know. It didn't sit right with me. And then you have Ryson over here who literally saved her from every single, well, not every single, he bet on her for the first one, but the other two little tasks that Amarantha had for her, he like saved her from. I guess not really. Maybe the second one he really saved her from. But the last one, Amarantha was going crazy on her, killing her, and he was like telling her to stop, trying to kill her, and Tamlin was not. I'm like, is this where the the, the switch of everyone liking Ryson comes. I pronounce his name Ryson, but then when it's like R H Y S, I'm like Reese. That's how I say it in my head, like Reese, but then Ryson. Is it Ryson? I'll find out after this video. I'm sure everyone's gonna tell me how to pronounce everything. I'm excited to see where it goes from here. I feel like I knew, obviously, that she was gonna be favorites when we find by the end of it. Like that was common sense because it's a, a series. She obviously has to be in the last one, but I wasn't sure like how it was gonna end. Happy and Marantha's dead. I'm glad that that's over with. I'm happy that it's not ongoing. Actually, I don't know, but I hope it's not ongoing the rest of the books like she's dead and like we're not dragging the storylines from this on like now it's like a new book new chapters new life for them which i'm very happy about so i'm excited to start that one i don't know when i will but don't comment down any spoilers if you can just like dm me or something and we can talk about it i just don't want anyone that hasn't read the book watching this video see any spoilers in the comments i think i'll put all the books in one video so the rest of it is going to be spoilers so if you've read the rest of the series just wait for that i don't know when it's going to be probably not for a little bit except to read the rest of the books but yeah i really enjoyed this a lot more than i thought i actually like Feyre. i don't really enjoy a lot of female main characters in fantasy books. I don't know why they feel very just like, I don't know the word, but I really liked her. I really like Lucian too. I hope he doesn't do anything wrong. He's like bestie vibes. I can see where the hype is coming towards Ryson. So I'll see what happens there. Also, I have a feeling in the second one, her family is going to come back. Also, Ryson like owns her for a week, doesn't he? And I feel like that's like so interesting. I just, I'm excited to see it play out in the second one. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, let me know. Stay tuned for the rest of the vlog or the second vlog and the rest of the series. I'm very excited. I will see you hopefully in the next one. Bye.